Have you ever been to the Mystery Spot? It's a tourist attraction near Santa Cruz, California that's been around since 1939. Attractions like this are often filled with optical illusions, like tilted houses, where you can see furniture in places they shouldn't be. It's a neat little trick that makes you question gravity, as well as your own sanity. You can discover plenty of places like these while traveling across country. Behold! On the topic of discovery, it wasn't that long ago when I spotted a trailer for a new movie making its debut at Fright Fest. The film is called Mystery Spot, and I publicly expressed interest in reviewing it after watching the trailer. And you know what? I got it! I was granted an opportunity to watch the film, and I'm so happy that I did, because this movie affected me in a way that most other genre films don't. I've been out here a while. Not a lot of folks come through. But those that do usually have something going on. Mystery Spot was written, directed, and edited by Mel House. I'm a little ashamed to say that this is the first Mel House movie I've ever watched. After seeing this, I'm interested in checking out his back catalog. Mystery Spot is a character-driven movie that touches upon topics of guilt, regret, and loss. It's a different kind of horror film that feels a little, well, old-fashioned. This is something that could have been an episode of The Twilight Zone, or even Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Throw in some elements from The Changeling, and that's basically what Mystery Spot is. I was just wondering if you could tell me about that old building back there. Oh, you mean the Mystery Spot? The film follows a group of lost souls that find refuge in a motel out in the middle of nowhere. The motel sits next to an old and seemingly haunted roadside attraction called the Mystery Spot. There is where you as an audience member will be confined to. A good 90 to 95 percent of the movie takes place in this one location. It's a dark and gloomy setting that's perfect for keeping you on edge. Mystery Spot is a wonderfully written movie that touches on grief and forgiveness in a realistic way. The emotions come across terrifically on screen with excellent performances. There's a lot of dialogue in the movie, so much that I was beginning to question whether or not Stephen King himself wrote it. There's a lot of layers to the script, and not one piece of dialogue feels wasted. There's so much depth to the characters, and each actor brings something unique to their roles. Every character seems to have a lot of baggage, and with a nearly two hour runtime, there's a lot to unpack and discover. Mystery Spot is a bit of a slow burn, which I didn't mind personally. I like a good slow burn, as long as the characters are interesting and the story leads up to a fulfilling finale. Thankfully, Mystery Spot does just that. It's a masterful character study with terrific performances that feels true to life. You saw what I saw in that window. And? It was a little girl. So he has a little girl in his room. A little girl that I've never ever seen? That never goes outside? And never even comes to the door? While he's in there filming whatever it is he's filming? The major thing I want to address is how much I love this cast. The acting in Mystery Spot is fantastic. And it's because of the amount of talent in the film. The first example? Debbie Rashawn is in the movie. Might not be much of a surprise, but Debbie does a great job in this film. Then again, She's great in just about everything she's in, and it's a lot of stuff. Her IMDb credits are enough to give you a headache. Ow. There's also Graham Skipper, an incredible actor who's currently killing it in the horror genre. Just look at his previous work, Almost Human, Beyond the Gates, and hell, even VFW. Graham is remarkable in all those movies, and it's no different in Mystery Spot. Graham Skipper acts his ass off in this movie. And then there's this genre legend, the dream master herself, Lisa Wilcox. Lisa is absolutely phenomenal in this movie. As an actress, Lisa has an incredible body of work. Here, Lisa's character goes through a wide range of emotions. There's one particular scene of Lisa's that really got to me. I was so invested in the story and the characters, and the movie gets to a point where things become really emotional. It was so heavy and heartfelt that I ended up crying. And I mean, literal tears running down my face. This might be because of the musical score. Well, what about you? Who do you see? I killed my husband. It was a car accident. I was driving. 
Now, I'm not familiar with Melhouse's work at all, but judging from the dialogue, I'm willing to bet that this is his most personal film. I got that same exact feeling when I watched Stephen King's Riding the Bullet for the first time. That movie had a lot of heart in it as well, and you can tell that it was a personal project for Mick Garris. I got that same exact vibe while watching Mystery Spot. Why all this? Bad calls to bad. The only real complaint I had with the movie is that I would have loved to have seen more scares. There is a supernatural element to the movie, but you only get little breadcrumbs here and there to help you piece together what's going on. The entire movie builds you up to a satisfying finale, and those last 20 minutes is where the true horror begins to reveal itself. I know for a fact that this movie is not going to be for everyone. I do encourage you to watch Mystery Spot, just so you can experience something different. Lately we've been having a slasher boom in the horror genre, with new sequels and adaptations harking back to the days of old. For me, these horror trends get real old real fast. Yes, nostalgia is one hell of a drug, but if you're looking for something completely different, Mystery Spot is the way to go. I really enjoyed it, and I know for a fact that it's going to stick with me for a very long time. So much so, that I do plan on buying the movie when it eventually gets a physical release. I need to own this on DVD or Blu-ray, because that's how much I love and respect this movie. I can also say, with complete confidence, that this is my favorite Lisa Wilcox movie since Nightmare 4. Fucking A. If you're ever at a convention and you have the opportunity to meet Lisa Wilcox in person, please do so. She's an awesome human being and so nice to meet in person. Bad places. Bad people. Bad feelings. Nobody needed to punish me. I was doing just that. Mystery Spot is unpredictable and unconventional. It hit me on an emotional level, and that's something I'll never forget. I give Mystery Spot 8 out of 10 haunted roadside attractions. Speaking of mysteries, I would like to give a very special shout out to Ivo Trees Littles over at Horror Movies and Beyond. Known as the Oprah of Horror, Ivo Trees is an excellent content creator and influencer. Through her website, YouTube channel, and social media, Ivo Trees reviews horror movies with awesome skits. She also promotes horror by conducting interviews with genre personalities. She also just launched a new YouTube channel called Prater Natural Mysteries where Ivatrice and her co-host, Dr. Lovey, talk about the paranormal, supernatural, and the unexplained. I have so much love and respect for everything Ivatrice does. Be sure to check out her content and give her a follow. After all, horror is life. <laughs> <laughs>